everybody it's titanic feet jack and today we looking at another shoe but before we get into that if you uh want to continue to follow me along this journey as i build my sneaker collection there's a list of my socials down below they're also linked in the description box and i just ask that you hit the like button on this video leave a comment let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video right here on this channel now today we take a look at a shoe it's a collab with the jordan brand and i mean his jordan blood y'all know who i'm talking about one of the most controversial retailers there is out there here is the box y'all see navy blue box red jordan jump man and here we go you can see that box label you see that logo yes we got the trophy rooms in here nike air branding and we have the signature of mr michael jeffrey jordan himself flip the box top yeah you do have trophy room right here as well and flip the box top new sheriff in town and under here there's a date that this event allegedly happened which is what this shoe is themed off of come on camera focus and this is where it happened at Monte Carlo and we have that wax paper with trophy room logos all over and you also have white tissue paper in here as well remove all this paper a lot of paper accessories in the box include well let's get this out of the way sticker reached out to Uncle Billy Goat here's your authentication card and we do have a uh, if I can get it out there we go we have the coaches clipboard where Chuck Dale and other coaches are drawing up the plays for the 92 dream team this also come with it and look inside the box we do have a YCM sticker and here we go the box bottle is designed as a basketball court and these are the empty seats that were there when this game allegedly took place it was a pickup game between the dream team the teams were divided the list of people on the screen that were versus each other and after the conclusion of the game Michael Jordan went to Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and told them there's a new sheriff in town okay the box label says Air Jordan 7 Retro SP SP stands for Special Projects Color Obsidian Metallic Gold and it is a size 14 this came off the heels of Michael winning his very first NBA title. And this is the box. Without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 7, the trophy room. There's a new sheriff in town. It resembles another famous Jordan 7, the Olympic 7s, but they put a little twist on it. So let's get into it. The materials on here, let's just say it is the materials on here are top notch then excuse me this is the best material that I have seen on a pair of Jordan 7s in a while I know Jordan 7s is not a very popular silhouette so this is kind of how the price on the uh, resale market wasn't that high so people that wanted to obtain it had a had an easier decision to make if they wanted to get these because Let's be honest with the trophy room ones, how that went down. If this had the potential to go down like that, it would. If this was a Jordan 4 or Jordan 3, there was no way people would be able to touch it. It would have went down the exact same way like the trophy room ones. Okay guys, getting into the shoe, you have that sale colorway on your overlays. And it is in a uh, 
some suede material, nice quality. You have your gold eyelets, which represent the gold medal, Olympic gold that the Dream Team won that year, headed by Magic, Michael, and Larry. You have a gold jaw jumpman here on your ankle. You do have some red suede. It is softer than the one that's on the sale part of the sneaker. Have that red hair and there as well. And looking at the heel back here, you do have Jordan signature ingrained in the sneaker. You have your mountain peak, red metallic gold, red metallic gold, and the obsidian on your midsole in the sail right there as well, which leads to the outsole, metallic gold, Jordan jump man, obsidian blue at the heel, and right here. You have that varsity red on here, and you have that sail colorway on your outsole as well. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, it is a little different from the Olympic Sevens, but you do have this on your pull tab, which represents the ribbon or the gold medal that the team received once they ran through everybody in that Olympics. And this is the gold medal. That's what it represents right here on the back of the sneaker on top of a, a piece of obsidian or uh, new buck. Looking on the medial side of the sneaker, you have more of that suede on your overlays and eyelets, and you do have that gold hit on here. You also have that nice red, it's nice and soft to the touch on there on the quarter panel here as well. You have your sail on your midsole, your mountain peak, University red metallic gold obsidian at the bottom and you have your obsidian right here with the sail on your midsole At the front of the sneaker you have a hit of university red at the very bottom and it's gonna, gonna Take us to the toe box toe box nice grand and sweet very soft and you have a neoprene tongue in the obsidian colorway and To the top of it you see Air Jordan in metallic gold Let's take out this. Comes with a couple set of laces. Comes factory with the obsidian. This comes in the sneaker. This comes in the sneaker. Haven't seen this in a while in the sneaker. They've been using tissue a lot. Jordan logo 1314. And it says molded sock liner. There we go. And it does come with other laces. We have the sail color laces with the gold tips, and we have the varsity red or university red with the gold tips as well. The obsidian does have the gold tips on the laces. There you go. And looking on the back of the tongue, there you go. It's just in the sneaker. And you see that size and tag. Yep, a new sheriff in town is what it says. And the size and tag says US size 14. And the production date is January 5th of this year to June 13th of this year. So about five and a little over five months of production with these. And also in here, you have this uh, date. Sorry, my finger was on it. This is the date that the game allegedly took place, but I believe that was an error because I don't believe that's the right date. And you have that varsity red or university red sock liner going around. And this is what your insert looks like. You have that pattern. There are pictures surfacing on the internet. This resembles a Jordan outfit that Jordan wore while he was over there during those Olympics. And you got your uh, side sticker on here and there's a patch stitched on the uh, insert that says the greatest game ever played, Monte Carlo. And on the bottom of the sneaker, you have that, the Dream Cell insert. And that's pretty much the sneaker, guys. Both sneakers are the same. Did you guys get these? This is my first time owning a pair of Trophy Room sneakers. Uh, 
first time putting my hands on them. Uh, these are cool. I like sevens, you know, they're a good silhouette, but it's not popular. You know how it goes, rock what you like, not what's hype. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this uh, trophy room Jordan 7. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker in the comment section. And before I go, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.